Hi everyone, Vegas from Critic here, Jeffrey Coward, here to review Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, starring Angelina Jolie, Michelle Pfeiffer, Elle Fanning, and even Warwick Davis is in this movie. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the first one, you know, and now we're back with the sequel, Mistress of Evil, and Disney's put a lot of time and energy into this character. The, the character Maleficent is fantastic. I love Sleeping Beauty, and I love, uh, I thought Angelina Jolie is really into the part. I mean, she looks like Maleficent. This time around, uh, Elle's all, well, <laughs> Rose is uh, Aurora is already is all grown up, and now she's engaged to the Prince of the Kingdom, and of course Michelle Pfeiffer, who plays the Queen, doesn't like the witch, doesn't like um, Maleficent. She just doesn't like her kind. She has a backstory with about how uh, I don't want to give any spoilers away about her, and uh, so but she invites her to the castle, and because they're engaged now, so she's just like putting on her best P's and Q's, and she's sitting there having, but she just will not have anything of this. She doesn't want this marriage to happen. She doesn't want to lose her daughter, you know, to the humans. And so she kind of just takes off. And we find out that there's a whole, there's a whole commune of her kind. Now, this is where I get confused. You know, she's a witch, right? She's got these giant wings and all that. So when we meet up her kind, they've been in hiding. You know, they have been hiding for, for centuries, I guess. And uh, they look like gargoyles, right? They, they just, they have these wings. Like, they just don't look like witches. They look like Valkyries. It's just really bizarre. So there's this whole battle brewing between, I don't even know what you call her race, the witches and all, between the humans. And Michelle Pfeiffer, the queen, she wants this battle to happen. She wants to exterminate all of them once and for all. And she really resents Aurora for not... Uh, for her not defending her species, her the humans. You know, she doesn't like how she was raised by a witch. So, uh, it's, so this movie it just really is confusing because it's not fun. It's it's so dark. It's it's just sometimes it just bogs down into like abstract, bizarre situations. And I keep thinking, wait, this is a Disney movie. Where is the fun in this movie? Where is the levity? You know, and where's Angelina Jolie? Half the time she's not in the movie. It's about Maleficent, and Maleficent is not in the film. You know, and every time she's on screen, she just commands it. But I wanted more of her sense of humor, more of her action. And of course, they fall to that prey of that third act where they have the giant battle between, I'm going to call them Valkyries, the Valkyrie species and uh, the humans. And it just got to be monotonous. It seems like the go-to thing for these movies now to have these giant action sequences. And I just didn't understand the concept behind their powers, what they could do, what they were fighting for. It was a Maleficent mess. So I think Disney really dropped the ball on this one. Uh, it's it's long, it's dull, it's confusing, it's heavy. It's nothing what a family would love to go see. I mean, I and I feel the vibe of the audience. People were bored. They really were. It was a real shame. So sorry, Disney, you blew it. All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website, VegasFromCritic.com. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any of my film reviews or my interviews. And uh, give me a thumbs up and comment below. What did you think of Maleficent, Mistress of Evil? She wasn't very evil in this movie at all. Michelle Pfeiffer was. She was the evil queen. But that's not what the title is. It was a mess. Just skip it. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. I'll see you next time.